Well, good morning. Woke up to this this morning. Yeah, I thought it was gone for the year, but uh, it's going to give us at least one more good dump on. So uh, it looks like I'll be making a plowing video today a little later. I'm hoping it'll stop snowing before I start, but they're calling for about another foot. We got about half a foot maybe. Um, so I got to, whether it stops or not, I have to get rid of it push it away but I do know in my uh, let's see my last video on plowing I did leave out quite a bit actually that happens a lot because my videos are only like 10 minutes long so you can't squeeze in everything in 10 minutes so it's always missing something and then later I watch the video and go oh man I forgot to mention that I've been doing it for over 20 years. I've been pushing snow here. So I have learned a few things. Not much, but a few things. Um, I think I use the best possible technique. Quickest, most efficient way to do it anyways. And probably the best way to keep from getting stuck. There's nothing worse than plowing and getting stuck. I'm sure some of you know that. So it's just below freezing. So this is really, it's going to be wet snow. It's going to be ugly, heavy, wet snow. Uh, that's just another reason to want to get rid of it fast. Okay, I got my warm boots, my muck, muck boots. Uh, I like the shorter ones because you can just go like this. Slip on easy, slip off easy. When you're lazy like me and you don't want to bend over, they work good. Easy half a foot here. I was hoping it would stop. Uh, can't always get what we want, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna show what I find the best way of doing this is. One thing is I'm kind of lazy and I don't like to get off and turn my blade constantly in fact I don't like to do it at all so I always start on the left hand side and I push the snow to the right so so I do my first pass as close as possible to the left hand side of the ditch I only push down I want the snow to go away. I don't want it to go back up towards the house. And I would run out of room up there anyways. One other thing with that is, it's, you can't really tell that there's uh, it's quite a steep hill. My driveway's kind of steep. And pushing heavy weight up the hill is kind of counterproductive. So I lift the blade every time I go up. That's another thing you'll notice, I don't lift the blade that often. the same spot more than once preferably see so so I could just take I could take six inches of this or a foot say that way it's not falling off that side of the left side of the blade is getting wider my tracks getting wider not much but it is getting wider
value of this quad because it's old and it's really beat beat up uh, it's probably worth around two grand which is probably the same price you would pretty much pay for a kind of a beater plow truck with a blade you might be able to pick up for probably around two grand the difference is this is going to be a lot more reliable than a plow truck this is going to be a lot cheaper on fuel uh, this has a lot of other purposes that a plow truck can't do things that break snow blowers now you see once I get that this the left side of the driveway plowed you'll notice that this is what I'm doing I'm just going back and forth like this and there's a reason for that well one reason is it's way quicker the other reason is Winter's almost over, so I'm not going to run out of room. If I push all the snow over that way, I won't run out of room. And at the beginning of winter, there's a way better chance that I'll be running out of room and I'll have to push it down to the bottom here. 